Did you know that the Chicago River once flowed in the opposite direction? In the late 19th century, Chicago was one of the fastest growing cities in the world, with a booming population of over 1.7 million people. However, the city's sewage flowed into Lake Michigan, the source of Chicago's drinking water, causing waterborne diseases like cholera and typhoid. To solve this problem, the city turned to engineer Ellis S. Chisbro, designer of the city's sewer system. Chisbro initially designed a tunnel to draw less polluted water from offshore, but heavy rain soon rendered this solution ineffective. Chisbro then proposed reversing the Chicago River's flow away from Lake Michigan by digging a lower ditch through the subcontinental divide. In 1892, workers began the laborious process of reversing the river's flow, which took eight years to complete. On January 2, 1900, the last dam was blown up and the Chicago River flowed away from Lake Michigan for the first time. Chisbro never saw the incredible feat of human engineering that he helped accomplish, but his plan saved the city and secured its prosperous future into the 20th century and beyond. Thank you for watching The Curious Collective.